Heard around the world, the final words of George Floyd captured on video when a Minneapolis police officer placed his knee on the back of his neck for several minutes, which sprung months of protest. Now all eyes are on the courtroom where our opening statements begin today in the murder trial of that former officer, Derek Chauvin. Daryl Forges is in Minneapolis with a look at what to expect. Less than a year after the world first heard his name. Amid an international reckoning over racial justice. Opening statements are set to be delivered in the trial of the former police officer charged in the death of 46 year old George Floyd. Thank you. Derek Chauvin has pleaded not guilty to charges of second degree unintentional murder and second degree manslaughter, as well as third degree murder. The charges provide the jury with three different ways of determining how liable Chauvin is for Floyd's death, if at all. Can you set aside everything that you may have heard beforehand and focus exclusively on the evidence that, as it's presented in court? Yes. The diverse jury panel of 15 includes three alternates, but one of them will be dismissed once 14 jurors have been sworn in Monday morning. And those 14 will be seated and sworn, and we'll proceed with opening statements at that time. Outside the Hennepin County Government Center, concrete barriers and razor wire. Authorities urging demonstrators to remain peaceful. We're continuing to keep our focus where it belongs, uh, which is on safety, protecting First Amendment uh, speech and the ability to peacefully protest. As activists, allies and Floyd's family continue the calls for justice. We need justice because the things that my family are going through, nobody else will go through that in life. We are torn and broken down right now. In Minneapolis, I'm Daryl Forges.